Okay, so we are going to do multi-step equations, okay? We've been doing this all year long. We're just going to focus a little bit more on it and maybe make it a little bit more exciting. <laughs> Always got to make it more exciting. There are four steps that we typically go through every time, okay? Step one, if we can, we're going to distribute. Okay? If we're able to, we will distribute if it's possible. Not always the case, but if it's there, we're going to do it, okay? <clears throat> then you are going to simplify each side of the equation, which means you might have to combine like terms. <clears throat> Look on each side of the equal sign, see if there's any combining you can do before you move all variables to one side. Does it matter which side typically we move it to the left? <clears throat> um, but it really doesn't matter which way you go, as long as they're all on one side. So distribute what you can, simplify or combine like terms on either side if possible, then start moving things. So when you move things, that's when you do opposite, okay? And then step four, you will solve, ooh, there we go, the remaining two-step equation. <clears throat> that does not look like an E. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. So we have 5y minus 8 equals 3y plus 12. What variable are we trying to solve for? Why? There we go. Um, step one, is there anything to distribute? No. Is there anything I can simplify or combine on either individual side of the equal sign? No. So we can go right ahead to move all of my variables to the same side. So I need to move three to the five or five to the three. Which way do you want to go? Move the three to the five? How am I going to move the three over to be with the five? subtract it. So when we go across the equal sign, that's when you do the opposite. It's a positive 3y, so we are going to subtract it over. All right? 5 minus 3 gives us that 2. So they're all on the same side, but now we have a two-step equation. So we need to move our loose number first. What's my loose number considered to be? Is it the 2 or the 8? What's loose? The 8. Good. It's a negative right now, so how are we going to move it? We're going to add it. So now I have 2y equals 20. And our final step. Divide by two. Familiar? Yes. So I didn't give you something too crazy to come back to after a long break. Pretty simple, right? So we get y equals 10. We're going to put that over here on this side. I think you, think you can handle number two. I think you can. You try number two. All right, nothing to distribute, nothing to simplify. We go straight to moving things over. Did you add the 8x to the other side? Is that what we did? Yeah. All right. Would you be wrong if you added 6x? No, you're not wrong. We just usually move things over to the left. Negative 6 plus 8 gives us 2. Come on, pen. There we go. E plus 14 equals 12. From here, you should subtract 14. So now we have 2x equals, what is that, negative 2? Oh, whoever said negative 1, you are correct. Yeah. Negative 2 divided by 2 gives us negative 1. Good. Nice. So watch out for those negatives, okay? When we do 12 minus 14, that brings me down below 0. So 12 minus 12, and then minus two more. Oh. We're good? <laughs> All right, number three. 
Can we distribute? No. Anything to simplify? No. We go straight to move. What am I going to move? Let's move that 3 to the 7, and how am I going to do it? Subtract it. Good. 7 minus 3 gives me 4. What are we equal to? There you go. Well, this is nice. Yeah. Go straight to divide. We don't have a loose number, right? So we can go straight to dividing, and we get K equals negative almost 9. There you go. Still feeling pretty good? What's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's never a good feeling. All right, let's do four together, and then I'll let you do five and six. All right, four, you tell me what to do. Okay, how do you want to move it? Subtract it, okay. What does that give me? Well, what, what else is on that side, though? 12, then minus 11, equals what? Equals 45. Mm. Yep, and then subtract your 12. So when you subtract your 12, what's left on that side? Okay, yeah, on the left-hand side, that negative is still with the 11, right? That didn't go away. That is still there. So we still have negative 11u on this side. And we are equal, what's 45 minus 12? No, positive. Yep. Maybe. Come on. There you go. <laughs> and now? Divide by what? What, what? what do we divide? There you go. Divide by negative 11, and we get negative 3. Good. Beautiful. I feel like y'all are doing well. And if you're not, you're hiding it nicely. <laughs> All right, you do those last two, and I believe the back we make things more fun. Yes. All right, so you do five and six, either on your own. If you do it on your own, check with your neighbor afterwards to see if you match, or you can do it with somebody. That's fine. Do five and six. If you have a negative one M, it's still not by itself, so then you would still divide by negative afterwards. So you're not wrong. You're just not done with it. Check your answers with mine. We should get M equals 8 for number 5, and then K equals negative 13 for number 6. 6, yep. All right, so here we go. With 6, um, I'm going to add 7K over here. Negative 10 plus 7 gives me negative 3. And then I'm going to subtract 1. So now I have negative 3K equals 39. And then I'm going to divide by negative 3. Bless you. And then we get negative 13. Was it a silly mistake? Yeah. Okay. okay. We can work with silly mistakes. I would add 6m, right? And then so negative 1 plus 6, make sure you have 5m. Is that what you got after you, when you added your 6 over? Okay, that's what it is. So technically that's a negative 1. So negative 1 plus 6 brings you to positive 5. All right, ready to level up? Too bad. 
Mario ate the mushroom. It's happening. Okay, so why am I saying we're leveling up? What's happened on the back? Now we get to distribute, yes, and maybe simplify, possibly. We'll see what happens. So number seven, what indicates that we're probably going to distribute with number seven? Those parentheses. Beautiful. When we say distribute, what do we mean? Multiply. Multiply. When I distribute three to this, we're going to multiply. So what is three times six P? 18 P. And what's three times negative one? Negative three. I've done nothing on the other side. It's still exactly the way it was to begin with. Now it looks just like what we did, right? That was the only difference because there's no simple flying on either side. I can go ahead and start moving things. What do you want to move? All right. How am I going to move it? Subtract it. What's 18 minus 11? 7. How come I didn't subtract it from the negative 3, by the way? Why did I jump 11 to 18? Because of the P. Good. Yeah, like terms. Good. Uh, what's left on my other side? Good. That negative is still there. Now what? Add 3. Now what do we have? Good. Final step. Mm -hmm. So we get P equals almost negative six. Good. P equals negative six. Good. So it's not too bad, right? That was okay. A little bit more with number eight, but we can handle it. Do we have to distribute? Yes. yes. And I see it happening on both sides, right? I got two sets of parentheses with the number out front. So when I distribute two to four W minus one, what do I get out of that? A W and, and negative two. Good. Two times four is eight. Two times negative one is negative two. Bless you. We're going to do it again on the other side, right? So I distribute negative 10 to W minus 3. What do we get? There you go. Plus 30. Why does it become a plus 30? Yeah, two negatives. Negative 10 and negative 3 give me positive 30. And don't forget, we still have that plus 4. How come I didn't multiply it by negative 10? It was not in my parentheses, so it doesn't get it. All right, something new is happening that we haven't done yet. What am I going to have to do? Simplify. Yep, what can I simplify, technically? The 30 plus the 4. Good, so they're on the same side of the equal sign. They're like terms. We can put them together. So it becomes 8W. Come on. There we go. Minus 2 equals, what is this, negative 10 plus 34. Plus 34, yep. And now it looks just like our front page. You finish it. You keep going. Yep. Gabby, what's the answer? W equals 2. W equals 2. Yes, ma'am. Good. Any questions on where W equals 2 came from? We good? We got it? Yes? Is it still familiar? Do we still feel good about this? Okay, that was my goal for today. Do you think you can do number nine? Yes, can I challenge you? I'm doing it. I'm gonna challenge you, do number nine. You got it. What did you get? It should be 14, yes. We should get 14 for this one, I'm gonna show you. So distribute the 9 to get 9m and then negative 27. We still have plus 3m. 
equals 7m plus 43. To simplify this time, we have two, whoops, we have two pieces with m's. So 9m and 3m, those are what's going to get put together. 9 plus 3 gives me 12. Then we still have minus 27 equals 7m plus 43, like that. From here, I would subtract 7m over. 12 minus 7 gives me that 5. We still have negative 27 equals 43. Then we're going to add 27 over. We're going to get 5m equals, what is that, 70? 43 plus 27, that is 70, yep. And then divide by 5, and that's where your 14 comes from. Okay, so here we distributed, and what we got to simplify was two pieces with my variable m. Oh, sweet. Thank you. All right, number 10, tell me what to do first. This one's a little different, not too much, but it's a tad bit. How is it kind of different? There's two things in front of parentheses, right? I have a negative 16 and a minus 7 in front of my 2a plus 3. Yes, good. You only distribute what's directly attached to the parentheses. So we're only going to distribute, it's going to be the negative 7. Okay, so negative 7 is going to get whoop, distributed to 2a and 3. So negative 16 is still here. My battery's almost about to die. Negative 7 times 2 gives me negative 14a. Negative 7 and 3 gives me negative 21 equals 23 minus 2a. Now what? Can I, uh, step two is simplify if you can. Is there anything I can simplify? Yes, what can you simplify? The negative 16 and the negative 21. How do I know that those are the pieces I can simplify together? What are they called? Do you remember what the name is? Like you? Yeah. Mm, almost. It, it is a C word. Constant. Yes, technically they're both constants. So we can put negative 16 and negative 21 together. So what's negative 16 minus 21? Mm -hmm. So negative, negative. It's going to get lower and lower. Yeah, negative 37. Mm -hmm. And then we still have negative 14a equals 23 minus 2a, like that. Can you finish the problem? I believe in you. You finish it. You finish it. What'd you get? Who has an idea? Five, Abraham? Negative five? You do it, you do it yet? <laughs> 
Diego, what'd you get? Not, not yet. Emma, are we there? You went on a roll today. Mayana, you got five. Savannah, not yet. Hannah, you got what? Thirty. Okay, so we got options. Negative five, five. Okay, let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to just to keep be to be consistent. I'm going to move variables to the left side. So it's negative two a. I'm going to add it over here. Negative thirty seven still exists. Negative fourteen plus two gives me what? Negative twelve. Watch out. I think those negatives are going to get you guys. Negative 14 plus 2 means you're getting closer to 0. Okay? Uh, we are equal to 23. Now, there's something else that might get you. How do I move the 37? You're going to add it. Okay? If you go across that equal sign, you got to do opposite of what's there. So we're going to add the 37 because right now it's negative. So now we have negative 12a equals, that's positive 60. And then we're going to divide by negative 12, and we should get negative 5 for that one. No. All right, number 11. I want to feed you to the wolves on this one. A negative, because it, it could be tricky because of what? I'm not going to distribute the 5x. That's why it's a little sneaky. What are we actually going to distribute on this side? A negative. Just the negative is in front of it. Technically, it's a negative 1, right? So 5x is just there. Negative times x gives me negative x. Negative and negative 18 gives me positive 18. Yep. What are we going to distribute on the other side? Negative 2. Good. All the number and sign go with it, which means my 6 is just there, right? Don't forget the 6. He's just hanging out. But now we have negative 2 times x. So negative 2x, and we have negative 2 and 15, which is negative 30. All right, now what can I do? There's a couple of things. I've already done I've already done the distribute. Yeah, we're gonna simplify. What can I simplify? With what? Yeah, these two can go together. What is five x minus x? Four, good. Still have plus eighteen. Is there anything else we can do? Yeah, the other side I can do six and negative thirty, right? The two constants. What is six minus thirty? Negative 24, and then minus 2x. All right, tell me what to do. Add 2x, yes. Add it to what? to the 4. So that gives me, yeah, good, 6x plus 18, I heard it, equals, mm-hmm, now what? Mm-hmm, good. All right, don't let it trick you. Negative 24, negative 18, so we're getting further away from 0. Negative 42, yes. <laughs> Final step, divide by what? Six, so we're going to get x equals negative seven. Good. Uh, yep, I'm going to throw you 
throw you into the wolves. Yep, you're doing number 12. You can do it. Lots of stuff going on. I believe in you. You do number 12. All right, for 12, you should get y equals 4. y equals 4 for that last one. So, honestly, the biggest mistake I saw was distributing your 8. And I thought it was going to be distributing your negative 2. I saw a lot of just 8y's plus 4's, so you forgot to distribute to the 4. I saw 8y plus 12 more than once. Careful, that's adding, not multiplying. Um, and then I saw just multiplication mistakes. People didn't do 8 times 4 correctly. Okay? So that was not what I thought I was going to see, but that is what I saw when I was walking around. Um, so 8 times y is 8y. 8, 8 times 4 is 32. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. Negative 2 and negative 1 gives me positive 2. That's what I thought was going to get you, and it really did not. Um, equals 70 minus 3y. You can simplify two things on the same side. 8y and negative 2y can come together to give you 6. And then 32 and 2 come together to give you 34. From here, uh, sorry, add 3y over to give you 9y. And then you can subtract 34 to the other side to get 9y equals 36, divide by 9, and we get y equals 4. All right. Questions for me before you start working? Okay, you got your worksheet. 1 through 12, it slowly builds just like our notes did. So have your notes with you as you're working on it. It's going to help you with the pacing of it, the difficulty. If you get it done, I can stamp you. Uh, otherwise, I will stamp you when you walk in tomorrow. I am checking this. Love you, but we got to get back in the groove, okay? This is a grade. I am grading, and I don't always grade things. I will grade it tomorrow when you walk in to make sure you did it, all right?